Robo Papa. Hey YouTubers, Robo Papa here, and today I'll try to show you um, how to make your Raspberry Pi to an arcade game. Um, it will be a couple of uh, videos tutorial, and today I'll just show you how to install MAME um, with the retro game that will translate your GPIO to um, keyboard uh, strikes. So let's get started. So first thing first, we need to download the main um, zip file. And the way we can do that is with the wget. We'll give it a name. Just copy the link. That way, you don't need to see me type. And the way that's the the URL that you can get the zip file from, and I just named that as main for all. Um, and then we'll basically need to um, extract and that zip file to a folder which I already went ahead and, and did that. And my folder, um, it's in the user um, folder. And I'll show you exactly where it is. So this is the folder that I created. And the way I created was using the sudo make dear like this. So if you run this command, this will create all the directories for you. And then you want to move the, the you want to unzip the the file. So if we'll take this URL, and copy it, and we'll go back to the home directory where we have downloaded the the main we can do sudo unzip um, sorry first we need to copy it so if we'll do mv um, name zip to here <coughs> need to do sudo So then I can, if I'll go to that directory, I'll see that um, the zip file over there, which is right over here. Um, then you basically want to unzip it. Um, and by unzipping it, you will get all these uh, files and folders. And all you will need to do is then run sudo dot slash install dot ch, which is this file, and that will generate like and compile the the meme for you. Uh, one thing to note: all your ROMs that you want to put will be right over here under the ROMs folder, um, and I will let you hunt those down um, as part of the the exercise to to get those. Uh, the next thing that you probably want to do is actually download the um, retro game from Adafruit. Um, I already downloaded it, it's over here. And you can actually get it from um, the Adafruit, um, from the Adafruit uh, webpage. And let me see if I can find it for you real quick. There's a GitHub page, and you can download it from that Git GitHub. 
the way you can do that is once again wget and then we'll call it um, retrogame.zip and that's the URL that you can actually type in to get it So now I have that retro game over here. When you unzip it, you will come to this folder. And basically that um, little program is taking your GPIO and converting it to keyboard strokes. And all you will need to do is get into the retro game.c. And you will want to update not the first section. So if you have the uh, Cupcade um, with their uh, Pi TFT, you want to update these keys. If you don't, there's a uh, second section for the IO standard and you want to update those. So you can see I actually updated to map similar, similarly to what they had over here, but I included also the tab, the enter and the escape. Um, that way I can control um, the mapping or how to select a game, um, etc. When you're done changing, changing here, you will just want to do, um, you will want to compile it. But before you can compile it, there are a couple of uh, libraries you probably will need to download if you will just want to do sudo uh, make. There will be a couple of um, libraries that you will need to download um, or to install. Um, and then the names of those libraries, I'll show it to you right now. So if I'll do uh, sudo apt get install um, and forces dev. And I already have them um, installed. And with that, you'll be able to build. Otherwise, you will get like um, the end courses not found when you're trying to build it. So if I'll do sudo make, well, there's nothing to make, obviously, because I build that. So after you downloaded those two and compile them and build them, um, you still will want to do um, certain things. One of the things that you will want to do is to go and configure your um, MAME with the control keys. And that's what we'll, I'll show you right now. Okay, so we're right over here and I will restart my Raspberry Pi. That way you can see that it's actually starting um, and what it will do for you guys as well. So as it, while it is loading, I'll show you over here. I just created a couple of buttons that I can simulate the, the keypad. So like up, down, left, right, and then the insert coin and start, and then the button A, button B uh, firing. And all it is, it's connecting to one ground from the Raspberry Pi, and then each cable uh, with a different color goes to um, the GPIO. So right now I have MAME already started and I already pre-configured the, the buttons themselves so you can see that it's actually jumping. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well but there's a blue line and you can select the game that you want. Then try to remember which. I still need to add the the button for the enter. Um, that's why having keyboard is very handy, um, especially while you are um, sending it up. So I can use the the keyboard to click enter, and it will start the ROM. Um, if you 
type the tab on the keyboard you will get the input uh, that way you can set up your configuration I don't know if you can see it very well but um, you should try it and then you can set up any key keystroke or any button or GPIO to a keystroke so I will have a button over here for my um, enter or the tab that way I can access this menu again and escape in case that I want to go and change um, a game if I want to play a different game I want to have that escape um, but for now I have that um, I can start a game now obviously it's difficult to have it with one hand but seems like it's working fine Le right, left, fire one second fire it's also working fine so um, I'm not sure why the screen is flickering probably the way it's connected it's loosening up over here so I'll show you now how to actually start MAME and the RetroPy or the Retro Game, sorry, um, immediately and without logging in. We'll do that now next. All right. So now that you we can configure the uh, MAME to accept the GPIO inputs, uh, we want to make sure that um, we can start without logging in and start the retro game and MAME automatically that way we don't need to actually input it um, one thing you might need to do that I forgot to mention in the previous um, subsection we might need to enter the U input um, to um, the modules that way the, the keys the, the GPIOs will be registered so to do that um, you want to go to um, to do sudo nano etc modules and you want to make sure that the u input is configured to run over here and that will start the u input uh, automatically so once again you want to update the etc modules to have the u input as part of it so then um, to remove um, the need to log in, you will want to want uh, to run against uh, sudo nano etc in tab. And over here, you want to find the line that actually says one colon two three five two two three four five raspon whack esbin whack getty. And you want to replace it, as you can see over here, I put a pound sign, which is making it a comment. And you want to replace it with the one colon two, three, four, five, respond, then login, minus F, pi, TTY, one, and then dev, whack, TTY, one, etc. This basically tells it to log in as pi, um, and no need to actually enter any password or anything like that. Um, yeah, and then I automatically also turned off the Getty on the TTY AMA0. That way, the um, UA rat will not be captured, so you can actually use those uh, GPIOs in case that you need to. Uh, so, while you're here, you can already uh, turn it off. So, that will allow you to um, start the Pi without needing to log in. But we still need to run the retro and the main and to do that um, we will need to go to sudo nano I'm trying to remember if it's under the user profile i believe Oops. Sudo nano. right it's not the user profile it's the etc profile okay in the end over here, you want to add the path where you compile the retro game. 
Um, so for me, it was under the, the home directory, Adafruit Retro Game Master Retro Game. Um, you want to add this ampersand in the end, that way it will run in the background and there will be no need for user input. Otherwise, you might hold until the user will input a certain keystroke. And right after that, you want to put the um, look the direct the directory location of Mame, including the Mame in the end uh, to run it. And once again, with an percent that we can run in the background. Although this percent I don't think it's a it's a need or it's a must. And that basically will um, start the retro game that we can understand it can understand and translate the GPIO to keyboard strokes and it will start immediately main for you. So if you have ROMs in it, then you'll be able to start selecting those and play. So that it is uh, for this module. Uh, next one, we'll start designing um, a case for the screen and the Raspberry Pi and the battery. And we'll try to use the Adafruit, um, the proper uh, battery charger. Um, I think it's a very nice uh, modules that allow you to charge your battery, but also run um, the five volt if you need it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, below in the comment section. And as always, please subscribe. It, it helps a lot. Um, until next week. Thank you guys.